The Vivian Plague mod just dropped today, and honestly, if you enjoyed the Dust Monolith mod that dropped a few months ago, you'll probably love this mod as well. Today, I want to talk about the survivors in this mod, the people who passed away and got turned into zombies, and of course, the background of the mod in general. So the developers of this mod basically let us know that there's an infection that hit the Friday Night Funkin' universe and basically spread over this whole world. Anybody that was infected ended up turning into a zombie. So think about like the Walking Dead type of situation. So now all the survivors basically have to scavenge for food in order to stay alive in this apocalyptic world. Now, obviously the mod is still very new and it's gonna have some updates in the future, I would assume. So we don't know the specifics about how the disease spreads or what the zombies are capable of. But we do know for sure that boyfriend is afraid of girlfriend here and that she is probably going to try to kill him and judging from the fact that she rips off her own arm we can assume that she doesn't have any type of consciousness or awareness of what she's doing to herself or others now there are a handful of people who actually survive as of now we know boyfriend pico and skid are definitely here from the main cast and we even have people from the development team like blueberry the dog who's supposed to be a survivor in this mod and in the future there may even be some characters that come out of the woodwork that we didn't know survived something that makes me kind of sad about this is that they specify that skid survived but they don't say anything about pump and i think in almost every mod skid and pump have been together so if pump is actually dead or got turned into a zombie this would be one of the few mods where i think skid and pump are actually separated because if you really think about it even in the mod where pump gets corrupted skid still refuses to leave his side and ends up rather becoming corrupted with his best friend as opposed to leaving him if you can think of a mod where these two are actually separated let me know down in the comments now somebody else that we know that dies in this mod is going to be Nene. For those of you that don't remember her, she's a young Asian girl that used to carry around a knife. It's super chaotic. She was a part of Pico's little three-person team. The other person, of course, being Darnell, whom we don't hear anything about in this mod, so we can probably assume that he might be dead. Now, the sad part about Nene's death is that we get to see Pico kind of talk about how he lost her. Basically, it seems like they got swarmed by zombies and he wasn't able to actually save her. And what makes this even worse is that he's saying this to Boyfriend as Boyfriend is trying to stop Pico from shooting the zombified girlfriend. I think this is very difficult for Boyfriend because through the mod, it seems like when Girlfriend needed him, he ended up abandoning her and just running away. And that may have been because his girlfriend is a demon so maybe he thought that she could handle herself against this plague or zombies or whatever the case may be and obviously as we see in the mod he does not handle it and ends up turning into a zombie i think the guilt of that is really weighing him down but pico makes a very good point in this mod he says you can't save everybody you just have to own it and let them go and even though this mod is pretty dark i think it's kind of cute that boyfriend even after seeing his girlfriend in this zombified state isn't sure about if he wants to kill her or not and i think that's why they kind of leave the mod open because at the end we see that pico pulls the trigger but we don't actually get to see if girlfriend dies i'm hoping that as the mod progresses there's some type of way that boyfriend can save girlfriend or maybe bring humanity out of this zombified state in general because let's be honest if the roles were reversed and it was girlfriend that was the survivor she probably would have done anything in order to save boyfriend or bring him back from the zombified state and she definitely would have fought to just make it to where he was never zombified to begin with you can look back at several mods girlfriend is always going out of her way to make sure boyfriend is safe so i'm hoping that in this mod he kind of gets to return the favor if you enjoyed this video click the screen here where i fully explain the elements of insanity mod fair warning it is super dark or if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, make sure to click this video here where I fully explain the Five Nights at Freddy mod. This is Ors, of course. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Peace, peace.